for the millions of Command & Conquer fans around the world, we got a present for you. Reinforcements en route. Hand of Nod under attack. Enemy presence detected. What the devil is going on, Lieutenant? He surfaced, Mr. President. I'm sure you all recognize this man. We know him only as Yuri, fugitive advisor to Soviet Premier Romanov. While we were busy fighting the Soviets, Yuri was using his mind control technology to establish a secret army of his own. A group of Yuri's initiates have taken Alcatraz Island here in San Francisco. They've constructed some sort of device there. What kind of device? Perhaps I can explain, Mr. President. Yuri. The device is called a Psychic Dominator. There is a network of such devices spread across the globe. More of your mind control tricks? No tricks, Mr. President. In a few moments, I will unleash a tidal wave of psychic energy designed to dominate the minds of an entire planet. There will be no more free will, only my will. Yuri, 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 the war's over. Can't we all just get along? What if I was to give you a full presidential pardon? Your country needs a leader. It could be you. Why should I be content to lead one nation if I can control the whole world, Mr. President? You can't threaten us. We're the most powerful nation on Earth. We did win the war, you know. Did you? Indeed. I say not. Mr. President, something's happening. The device is beginning to deploy. Call in an airstrike. I want that tower taken out. <laughs> Command, this is Mojo-1. We are on station. Roger, Mojo-1. Target is located on Alcatraz Island, Vector 270, at 10 miles. Target acquired. Engage! Engage! The psychic dominator on Alcatraz will not function. Most unfortunate. But we have other devices. The same time has come to activate them. God help us all.
The situation looks bad, Commander. Yuri's forces have successfully detonated two of his psychic dominator devices, turning much of the planet into mindless Yuri drones. Luckily, the device here in San Francisco seems to be underpowered. It hasn't been activated yet. Stand by, Commander. I have Special Agent Tanya on the line. There may be a way out of this, Commander. Doc Einstein has a new toy. Now, it hasn't been tested yet, but it might be our only way out of this. Right, Doc? Uh, Doc? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is my prototype temporal displacement device. I believe we can use it to transport your forces backwards in time. With luck, you may be able to avert the psychic dominator disaster before it has begun. But we don't have a lot of time, Commander. Yuri's forces are trying to capture power plants throughout the city to divert power to the psychic dominator. Well, the docks machine needs power, too. So you have to get out there and you have to capture power plants yourself. Hey, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. I'm a field op. I'm not a strategist. And I hate to admit it, but right now, I wish General Carver was still alive. If my device works, Miss Tanya, you may get your wish. When you return to the past, contact my earlier self. I may be able to help, yeah? Incoming transmission. The time machine is just south of the Golden Gate Bridge. The Golden Gate Bridge entrance was destroyed by the Soviets during the war. Protect the time machine until you can capture enough power plants to bring it online. Be careful, Commander. Yuri's initiates are combing the city. They want those power plants, too. Commander, these are Guardian GIs. They're armed with both machine guns and anti-tank rockets. When deployed, they are able to reduce a tank into scrap metal in seconds. <laughs> Battle control online. Well, welcome back, Commander. There's a lot to explore already. So hopefully I'll be able to fit it all into this video. First and foremost, welcome back. Secondly, we have the admittance that the Allied campaign is the canonical one. So we don't have to worry too much about how that'll play out. There's a few things to poke fun at in the cutscene. Namely, stuff like a Harrier jump jet that decides it wants to perform an aileron roll under a bridge. Unit ready. Also, why do bombs and rockets not launch at a distance when turrets are shooting at them? Why is it that Alcatraz itself can have a giant device that controls mines built on it? Eh, try not to think too much about it. Unit lost. Yes, sir. There is one thing to keep in mind, which is the fact that since it's the first mission, you don't really have much to worry about. Yeah, despite playing on hard, I've never noticed the AI to get engineers or capture buildings, so it's one of those, like, false issues. Securing position. Unit ready. Unit lost. Now, pretty quickly, we're going to come up against the Yuri Initiates. They're not particularly dangerous. You just have to make sure that you don't fight them in numbers. And... Try not to get them level up, because once they hit that veterancy, they fire extremely quickly. That aside, we have a new unit ourselves, the Guardian GI. They're essentially a better version of the Flak Trooper. They don't rely on any sort of splash damage, and the attacks that they do are just better. Do more damage, and they're more easily able to take damage. Now that said, they do perform rather poorly against infantry, so... You'll still want a healthy mix of GIs with Guardian GIs, or attack dogs, and so on. We also come across the Gatling turrets, which pain 
to deal with. Good job, Just a the idea behind Gatling turrets are that they take a bit of time to spool up, doing a continuous amount of damage the entire way. Once they reach that max speed, they their DPS really gets going, and that's where you have to start paying attention to um, either taking them out as quickly as possible, or simply retreating. Though it should be said that in a game like Red Alert and Red Alert 2, retreating is usually just an easier way to lose a unit than anything else. Unit ready. Unit lost. Now, honestly, this was my first go at Heart Campaign, uh, and I hadn't played Year's Revenge in probably about 12 years or so, uh, if not longer. So, there's a little bit of a bumpy start here. According to the walkthrough for this game, there is one rather easy trick that you can employ for this mission, and the entire point revolves around power. You see, we have to capture power plants so that we can power the time machines, so that we can go back in time and hopefully prevent this whole Yuri psychic dominator shenanigan stuff. Unit ready. Now, the way to do that, or at least to expedite that, is instead of going around and capturing six power plants or more and destroying Gatling turrets and so on, just sell your stuff. Provided you keep an ore refinery just for some basic income and, say, uh, your barracks or war factory, just in case you need to produce units, you can sell everything else. Spy satellite, war purifier, the grand cannons. And the greatest part of all is that we're going back in time. So if you sell something, you sold it in the future, so it still exists in the past. Uh, try not to get too hung up on time travel stuff. You'll also notice, at least in the next video, that there's going to be some differences with the UI. And, well, it's easier to explain later on in this video, but suffice to say that there's some problems playing this at modern resolutions. Our base is under attack. Unit promoted. Unit promoted. Can't do it! Building. Now, if you happen to ever be playing this yourself, um, keep in mind that you should try to maintain Mirage tank survivability as much as possible. They're just really good against infantry. Also, you'll notice that uh, one of my engineers didn't go in the building because I apparently clicked right next to it. Kind of just a oopsie there. Our base is under attack. Incoming transmission. Commando, the time machine is powered up. We're ready to make the time shift. Woohoo! Let's shake it, baby. Hang on, this is going to be a close one. I fear you are out of time. Don't worry, it will be quite painless. And life will be so much simpler for you with no freedom of will. Our base is under attack. Unit ready. Incoming transmission. You did it, Commander. The time shift was successful. Yeah, but we couldn't have come at a worse time. We're sitting right in the middle of the first Soviet occupation. Use the Grand Cannons to soften up the Soviets. And when you give me the word, I'll swim to Alcatraz and I'll turn that psychic dominator into scrap metal. Unit lost. Our base is under attack. So, as mentioned, if you happen to just sell your stuff, it'll come back once you do the time shift thing. Our base is under attack. Unit lost. Sadly, because I'd never played this before, I didn't really have much in terms of 
preparation. I just don't really expect the game to throw a Kirov at me at the start. Regardless, there's not too much to ever really worry about. The Kirov itself never truly goes after your base. It takes out the Grand Cannons, sure, but it then beelines the hospital, as in my experience anyways. Unit ready. Unit ready. On hold. Destination commander, securing position. Bound forward. Destination securing position. Unit ready. Vehicle ready. Fire zone confirmed. Vehicle ready. Unit reporting. Now, as soon as I'll spot her, I'll notice that Tanya is available and I can go do stuff with her. Tools of the trade. Yep. Unit lost. There's actually a bit of a continued speed run along with the power selling manipulation. The idea revolves around the fact that um, Tanya's not actually missing critical for this outing, which is rather strange. Every time we've seen Tanya, if you lose her, it's game over. For whatever reason, they decided to give the players a freebie on this one. Unit ready. Yes, sir. Of course. Destination. High command. No drag. Securing position. Outstanding. Unit ready. On our way, sir. One short swim to Alcatraz, and I'll blow that psychic contraption sky high. What's up? Gotcha. Everything's made to fit. So yeah, it's tied to the Kirov being destroyed. So if you play this, build a bunch of IFVs to start off with. Yes, sir. Unit ready. In order. Ready. Low drag. Destination the yes, sir. Now one has to remember, since we've gone in the past, on the mark, there's still a nuclear reactor on Alcatraz. On so you kind of have to be careful as to what you do and what you blow up. Yep. After all, so far the Soviets have always controlled Alcatraz, so it's not going to be so easy to assault it. Especially with a bunch of conscripts, some dogs, and even some sea scorpions. <laughs> Unit ready. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, thankfully, Tanya is max rank, so she will heal up herself. But, you know, you should go for a hospital every once in a while. If you're worried about it, anyways. Oh, and this might not be a good idea. Looks like I'm out of commission for a while, Commander. Finish what we started. I'm down, but I'm not out. Let's go. So if you're not playing at an 800 by 600 resolution, that happens. The game just doesn't like changing video formats or resolutions at all. Ready. Now, with regards to the speedrun tactic, if you happen to lose Tanya, you don't really have anybody to get on Alcatraz. But that's saved by the fact that the game suddenly gives you six aircraft carriers. So if speed's your game, just have your own dog kill Tanya and use the aircraft carriers to do this. Mission accomplished.